So the first chapter we are going to discuss is chapter one. This is data processing information. Now, obviously, um, data is is everything these days. Okay. Um, this is why cloud computing is one of the most important thing. Uh, organizations they're saving their data um, in in cloud, right? This is why data engineers and data scientists are are very importantly required in every organization. So we we going to talk about data information. So it's very basic thing. Data in simple words, data means any raw number, letters, symbols, sound, images. So this is just data. For example, if I say this that uh, this particular code it's a data at the rate of is a data. This number is data. So these are all my data. Or आपको पता होगा like for example database के हम बात करते हैं ये सारी मेरी डेटा है ना इफ आई इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर रो ये मेरा डेटा है थ्री जॉन ये सारा डेटा है ये रेकर्ड्स के अंदर क्या आ रहा है आई हैव डेटा यस और नो यू गेट द पॉइंट यस सर यस सर हाँ ये मेरा डेटा है सो बेसिकली ये आपके डेटा है नाउ सो द डेटा दिस कुड सेवरल मीनिंग आई मीन दिस कुड बी प्रोडक्ट को दिस बी पॉस्ट को दिस कुड बी कार्यशन so data obviously is very important but data has to have a meaning when data has has a meaning that data becomes information okay so data itself has nothing nothing but it it has to have some meaning which becomes information for example now if i say i have this this is basically a product code if i talk about this this is a tutor handler if i talk about 359 uh, three uh, okay this is basically uh, price in pakistan rupees or whatever So if I describe, so what is a tutor handler? Ah, uh, it's 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 uh, at the rate of uh, basically uh, you can say it's an email account, okay? Okay. Right. It's an address that we're referring to, an address, okay? So, ah, okay. uh, obviously when you add meaning to it, it becomes information. It's a very simple thing, okay? So, like we we just explained over here that this is a prod code. This is a a BBC Weekly. Um, Email address and this is price number. Okay, so um, then you also have over here is let me just come here over here. Um, although they they I haven't discussed over here is knowledge. There is another thing over here which is known as knowledge as well. And knowledge is when you add more information. For example, if I say if I say over here, three fifty nine. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Karo? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. For example, if I say is that three fifty nine is basically what it's a price in Pakistan rupees. But if I say uh, the price uh, of a mobile phone cover in Pakistan is a lot more than 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 uh, if it's uh, as compared to let's say Dubai. I mean, for example, I don't know. So that is knowledge. Knowledge means that you use your information to compare and contrast. Okay, I'm just discussing with you. They haven't discussed it, but I'm just telling you what is knowledge. Anyway, you have data sources. You have direct data source. Do you take business studies? What I'm saying is, uh, what is direct data source? Direct data source basically means what? It means, uh, if you take business studies, if you have done it before, it means the data that you directly collect from somewhere. For example, if I ask you to collect data yourself, will it will be known as direct data source? Okay. Um. Don't don't take it from somewhere else. Um. So we can you can uh visit uh for example if you want to collect out uh information about the prices, you can visit other shops. Uh. You can visit their websites. You can carry carry out surveys. You, you can use questionnaires for that. I mean, you can use different ways to collect information yourself. You can even do questionnaires, interviews. I mean. these are the different ways that you can use to collect that uh, data source which is direct but maybe you don't want to do it direct you don't have the time for that um you need to is get is indirect data source which means data source which has been collected by someone else okay so for example someone has already collected some data for the same purpose as yours uh you would want to get the data I among mean, the the companies who sell this as well so you can get data indirectly or we call it the secondary source as well so yes you could use that um but obviously 
um, the, there are uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, uh, data source which is direct and indirect. Okay, let's talk about that. Which of the following are direct data source? So, names and email addresses of the member political party. So, one one important thing I just forgot to mention is over here is, um, let me let me mention over here. Uh, they have mentioned here. Okay, and data was collected for the different purpose. Okay. So data that was collected for a different purpose, secondary source. So when you were to you to talk about your uh, uh, direct data source, it has to be used for the same purpose. Matlab, I'll just tell you. Name and email addresses of member political party, that's the data. Why are you collecting this data? To record the membership and to be able to contact them. Reason used to contact members email to see if they want to donate money. So you see, the reason that we have we are using the particular data it's not uh the reason it was collected for the collection and the reason do not match okay so you get the point are you following me yes sir right so we have to look at this so in case if it's uh, direct data we have to compare the reason collected employing uh, attendance date and times what do I mean? Okay, right. Uh, why this data is important? I need to identify when employees attend work and work fine to allow police officer to check. No, again, the reason why I'm collecting this data is 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 not why I'm I'm collecting it for. So we always have to look at the reason and the reason used for. If they are the same, then we can talk about um, <clears throat> our indirect data source, right? So. Uh, do you take business studies? Yes, I, I do. You do? So, you have business studies point Sorry, sir? Haven't you studied this? In business studies? Uh, no. Sir, in business studies, we have not studied it. You will study about it. Okay? okay. okay. So, this is written there. So you see data collected from indirect data source already existed for another purpose. Okay, right? Although it may be it have been collected by the person who intends to use it, it was often collected by different person or organization. Okay, anyway, let, let's uh, continue. Then we have advantages and disadvantages of uh, getting so, data. Sir, indirect data is basically collected by the third party, right? Exactly, third party. Okay, sir. This is very important. This is very important. That we should know what are the advantages and disadvantages of direct and indirect. So, the data will be relevant because uh, what is needed has been collected, obviously, because you're collecting it yourself. Indirect. Additional data that is not required will exist, may take time to sort through, and some data. So, well, it, it simply means that indirect data source can have a disadvantage that you may. Uh, have to sort out the data. It may um, have a lot of unwanted information. So, you know, obviously, second point, the original source is known. So, we know from where we have collected. So, we can trust it. Again, advantage data source. In direct data source, the original source may not be known and so it can't be assumed that it is reliable. I am going to invest a lot of money in a new business. Will I just... Uh, rely on an indirect data source that I'm not sure of that was collected from where and what purpose. No, I will not do it. So this tends to be it tends to be a disadvantage of indirect data source. Direct data source. It can take a long time, long time to so that's a disadvantage. So a direct data source, because you're collecting it yourself, will take a lot of time to collect. Big problem. Okay, so direct also has its uh, disadvantage. Indirect data source, the data is immediately that's an advantage of indirect. Uh, I want to have the data source available right away. So right away means I just want like in a week. So I would go for indirect data source because I don't have time. Advantage. So uh, a large samples of statistical data can be difficult to collect for one. So again, if you want a lot of data, direct data source can't help you in that because you need time for that. Okay, so disadvantage. Then if statistical analysis is required, then they are more likely to be large samples available. So large samples, a lot of data is available in director source that that's an advantage. So you advantage, disadvantages, 
these should be in our mind in P1, we get a question of this very, very important. Okay, more, more to come. The data is likely to be up to date advantage. Uh, data may be out of disadvantage. Bias can be eliminated, which means, uh, biased means maybe you collect the data and you might think that you, you get this point biased. Um, this could be any reason. Maybe you are, let's say, for example, if you question and interview Americans about iPhone, uh, they would always favor I iPhone. So there will be biasedness. So you, you don't want to do that. And maybe if you, uh, favoritism, uh, favoritism exactly. So the, that by five, no, no, because of uh, direct resource bias can be eliminated. You, you can trust the information more independently with the help of direct as compared to indirect. And in case of indirect original data may be biased due to its source. I mean, I mean you, you can, can say that indirect resource can be, can be biased. In other words, may you say that indirect data source might not be too much reliant. I mean, I, I can't rely on it because I'm not sure it's right or not. Okay. The data can be collected and presented in the required form. So it's an advantage. The data is unlikely to be the form. So you data give data, but you need to sort it out. You need to uh, arrange it accordingly because you data to give data. Ko it has to be arranged accordingly. So the disadvantage. So see, some points are overlapping, but again, it's very generic point. Here are my first question.